Yeah. I was just, yeah, I'm just saying that was extremely emotional right there. You know, I, I did not think Calhoun was going to be here, for one. Um, Cal told me that they was trying to get back and they didn't know uh, if he could make it or not. Wasn't sure. And, you know, saw him out the corner of my eye. Uh, just made the whole moment emotional, you know, right off the top. And, you know, just, you know, the ride up here after landing at the airport and, you know, time goes by so, so fast. And you just reflect on, you know, all the special moments from walking from the 7-Eleven to, you know, going to your campus dorm room and, you know, late night shooting in the preparation or, you know, your first moments on this campus in which, you know, you see your big brother Ray Allen, Jesus Shuttleworth, you know, in the summer, in the off season, coming in like he's walking on water. And, uh, you know, just like, man, that's, that's, what, that's what I look up to. That's what I want to be in, to be able to carry that legacy. All those moments just real vivid in my mind. Just stood out. I had so much to say, but I knew I had to make it short and sweet. But special. Uh, it had to be like three years. You know, uh, me and my wife actually, we came, you know, unattended and unannounced. You know, one time we just came down and it's kind of like a date. You know, we got a house out in uh, New Haven, and we just rode around the campus and just talked about old times. And it was it was special. It was reflective. Uh, he was special. I, like I said, you know, in the in the speech, it was just, you know, a kid that had a checkered past, a checkered background, and, you know, just trying to prove that my character was worthy of, of a, you know, prestigious university like Connecticut. And, you know, he flew out to uh, Racine, Wisconsin, and just took a chance on me. And he told me, once I'm a part of this, you know, you family for life, and I believe in you, and I'm forever grateful to him and the university. Well, how would you describe your relationship with Rudy? Yeah, it's, it's, it's big brother. Like, I, I play with Rudy now and play with Andre last year in Detroit. And, you know, every time I, you know, come to any city or anything like that, I find out one of my brothers there. I always go check on him. Uh, this past summer, just being in Los Angeles with uh, Ben Gordon, checking on him and just, you know, just – I'm the OG now. Like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy to say it. It happens so fast, but it's just like, I guess I got to go check on him. And, and I'm cool with it, man. I embrace it. I love it. Uh, it's good shoes to be in. No, no. It only feel like that when I drive to the basket. <laughs> and I'll be like, I, I probably should just settle for the jump shot. You know, still like, so... That's, you know, that give me a little clarity and stuff like that. But just coming on to this campus, like, it, it definitely don't seem like that long. But you see so many familiar faces, so many loved ones, so many friends in the crowd. And, you know, they talk about their journey and where they at and what they're doing now and their careers and stuff. And it's just like, man, a lot of time has passed by. But we're extremely blessed. And, you know, all those things and relationships happen here at the University of Connecticut. You see those highlights on the scoreboard. Is there one memory that sticks out? I think the Big East Championship, because the night before, you know, me, Tali, you know, Johnny, all of us, we, we just couldn't sleep. It was crazy. Like, could no one sleep that night? We stayed up to like four or five in the morning, and guys were just like coming in each other's rooms. We had curfew, but we just couldn't sleep. Like, guys just was like, man, like, this would be huge for us. And great opportunity. And uh, we just like kind of gathered together, just kept talking and, you know, ordered a movie. Just like, man, this is what I'm going to do with the trophy. I'm going to run around, and I was just like, man, I hope Coach let me go to the NBA this time. <laughs> it was just like all those thoughts that's going through your head, and then it actually happened. Like, you know, everything that we talked about that night, to the T, everything happened. It was special. Worst staying up all night. Worst staying up all night. Yeah.